Today I'm going to walk you through the lowercase letters. I just have my workbook on page 34 and a piece of tracing paper over the top and my brush pen. So let's break down each of the lowercase letters into their basic strokes and I'll give you a few tips for drawing each of them. So the first one is the letter A. This one is going to be an O form combined with an underturn. And sometimes, as you can see on my, my A, the transition isn't perfectly smooth. Sometimes I'll just go over with my pen and just fix that real quick. The next one is a B, and this is an ascending loop. And it kind of has this little entry stroke here. And an O form, and then an upstroke. Next is C, which is gonna be like an O form but instead of connecting it, we'll kick out the bottom to the right. A D. For D, you can start by doing the ascending loop or you can start with the O form, whichever you prefer. And that one is an ascending loop combined with an underturn. Next is an E. This one's gonna be like an O form with a little loop. F, F is actually the tallest letter. So it's an ascending loop, a descending loop, and then an upstroke. A G is gonna be an O form, a descending loop, and an upstroke. And an H is going to be an ascending loop and a compound curve. Next is an I, which is going to be an underturn with a dot and make the dot kind of substantial. J is a descending loop and an upstroke with a dot. Then we have a K, which is an ascending loop, an O form, and the bottom part of the K. And something that I'm doing here is I kind of tilt my pen so that I can get a nice diagonal stroke here on the K, so you can do that as well. Next is L, which is gonna be an ascending loop with an underturn. And you'll notice it got a little thick right here, but that's okay because it's still thinner than the thickest part of the L. Okay, next we have an M, which is going to be a downstroke, an overturn, and a compound curve. An N is very similar, downstroke, compound curve. And that one was a little bit wonky. See how it's really heavy here? That happened because I was trying to go too fast. So let's try that one again. A downstroke and a compound curve. That's better. If you get a lot of heaviness on the bottom of your underturns or compound curves, that means that you need to slow down a little bit. Next is an O. It's gonna be like an O form and a comma dot. P is going to be a long downstroke, an O form, and an upstroke. Q is going to be an O form, an underturn, or sorry, um, a descending loop that's reflected, and an upstroke. R R is a little unique. You can draw it like that and notice I'm coming up higher. The rest of my letters are coming to here and the R and the S extend above the waistline. Or I could do the R like that without the loop. That one's up to you. Next is an S. And again, if it has the loop, 
above or it could be something more like that. Then there's the T. U is an underturn and an underturn. V is an underturn, but it kind of has this little unique entry stroke. And then a com dot. Then W is two underturns and a comma dot. X is a partial um, compound curve. So this is a compound curve. So we're basically just cutting it off sooner and then cross it. Y is an underturn, a descending loop, and an upstroke. And the last letter is a Z, and this one's going to be an overturn, but it's a little bit slanted with the descending loop and an upstroke. So those are all the lowercase letters. The biggest thing that you're going to want to watch out for is just having heaviness on the bottom of these turns, like we had on this end here. And that is just an indication that you're moving too quickly. So just slow down, take your time, um, and then don't get too worried if you have some parts of your letters, for example, on this Y. It's supposed to be an upstroke and it's a little bit thicker, but it's still thinner than this thick these thick portions of the letter. So if that's the case, I wouldn't worry too much. Just keep practicing um, and you'll be able to get those thinner lines a little bit thinner. So let me know if you have any questions about any of the lowercase letters and I'd be happy to show them to you again.